All right, today I'm going to try to finish up the head of the uh, Longhorn, and then I'm going to place it on the uh, body, hopefully today, and uh, see how far I can get. Time to play with some clay. You get the clay while it's soft, and you can do this. You can give it kind of a draw up on with the metal tool, and it causes it to get a little sketchy, which I'm looking for. I can't gotta refer to my reference material for how far down that fur goes, but I'll do that uh, next time I go on my computer. There's a muscle that goes right down there like that. Okay, I've taken the uh, steer off the uh, main board and I've moved it out of the way and now I'm just repositioning uh, the board I've got on there now. and repositioning my cutting boards. Okay. Good position there. I find it easier to get the uh, tape started first before I try to attach the head. I'm trying to do this delicately so I don't 
screw up the clay. I've worked so hard to get to this point. When I put clay on this uh, neck, it'll solidify all that. But for now, I'm just going to tape it on there just temporarily. And uh, that's my phone, not yours. Okay. I think what I need to do is take it off of this and put it on the uh, sculpture just to see how I want that head positioned. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I wish I'd have done that in the first place. <laughs> well, it's hard to reach this when you got a horse up here and, you know, it's just easier to handle this way. So it just next, an, next, an extra little bit of work. By the way, when I was in Livingston, I, we stopped at Murdoch's farm supply and I got this uh, Yeti mug 30 bucks for this thing but I'll tell you something it is so nice to keep my tea hot in this thing it just it never warms it never cools off which I'm loving a lot I'm not getting paid by Yeti but uh, that's an awful expensive mug but I'll tell you I can bring this down into the studio without spilling the drink and that's what I like because of the lid that's on top all right vacuum sealed okay <sighs> gotta get sawdust off I'm going to place it right where I've got it marked. Let's see if that's going to work. No, because it runs into that leg right there. So. Hmm. How's that look? If I have that horn touching right there, that will give me a point of contact that will help support this horse. I might have to rearrange the horse now. Alright, I've got a problem. The glue I thought would only be up here probably seeped down, so this is attached to the uh, board. Oh, I got another screw in there. That's really why. I thought it was held up. Uh, never mind. Brainless, David. You're brainless. Okay. There we go. One screw. Too many. All right. 
Now let's see what we can do here. Ah. Ah. Okay. Bring him in. Like that. I don't want him touching. I think that's probably where I want to put him right there. Because, uh, I just realized I'm going to be using the tail of the horse to support the horse. So I really don't need the bull touching him. I'm going to have his head down and twist it a little bit, I think. So, let's quickly put some clay in there to hold it in place. I still got the ears to add on to this thing, too. Yeah, I kind of like that head twisted like that. It makes it look more believable. All right, I'm going to reattach the horse. I need to solidify this with the uh, clay. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Okay, I'm going to reattach him to the turntable. found out I bought a set of bits that wasn't for a regular um, chuck type drill, but it works perfect for this type of drill. The same thing. There we go. All right, I like the position of that head now. I like to have a little fluidity to the uh, movement of my uh, figures, whether horse or cow or longhorn steer. Okay. Okay, now's when I wish I had better anatomy pictures. I really do. Because what I got is crap. But I'll do what I can with what I got. Ah! There we go. Put my anatomy drawing there like that. Okay. See, we're going to do his throat.
It's going to be similar to a horse's anatomy, not quite exactly the same. Shorter neck, stronger neck. But uh, if I just go by what I know about horse anatomy and convert it to cow or steer anatomy, I think I'll be fine. Well, I got it started. That's as far as I'm going to get today. I'm going to call it quits because I'm getting to a point where I want to tear it apart. And I got to take a breather, come back tomorrow, take a look at it again, and uh, decide what to do. I like it. I mean, it's just, I can feel the insecurity kicking in right now because, uh, I don't want to make a mistake on the anatomy and I'm going to go see if I can find some good video of longhorns on YouTube and uh, any place else I can find them and I'll come back uh, better prepared tomorrow. I didn't know I was even going to get this far today. But I'm, I'm liking the movement. We're just going to have to go and take a look at a few things. All right. Good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.